Colonialism simulator. We will civilize this planet. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Planet Nomads. Heck yeah. Gonna do the thing. Uh, first I think I'm gonna take some some stuff off this vehicle. Just just for a little bit. Um, it's kind of wonky at the moment. Not exactly completely drivable. Um, I do want to build some more stuff today, as per usual. I got my eyes on this hover jack. Uh, could be pretty useful. But I also want to build a beacon, so I think that's what I'm going to do. We need two, two, three, and two. Let's see what I got in my in my storage here. I'm not exactly sure how to uh, switch things around necessarily. I guess I can store these battery battery cells and stash them in there. Um, what else do I need? What else do I need? Electronic components, I think, which I don't have on me at the moment. And my sensors show that I am slightly thirsty, so I'll uh, drink some water. Drink a little water, eat a little meat, that's good in the morning. Heck yeah, well fed. I'm gonna drop some more stuff in my greenhouse before we set out. And uh, if I can get that beacon built, then I don't think we'll need to worry about getting lost and all those horrible things that could happen to us out there in the wilderness. So here, here's some fruitage, we've got uh, some herbs synthesizing there, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll save this fruitage for a little later. I'll synthesize some more. We'll do ten, and then I should be able to make some uh, some peels should I need them. But right now we're pretty well fed, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Um, here's the beacon. Powerful beam generator to mark points of interest such as bases or landmarks on your map. So let's do that. Yes, this is going to be necessary so I don't lose my fucking base. We'll put it right here. Somewheres. Can I, can I, right here? Great. Wonderful. And, uh, we are missing the electronic parts. I just said that. I just said that and I forgot, uh, promptly. Which doesn't really surprise me. Shit like that happens to me all the time. You know? My brain, it just don't brain so good no more. I get a little, get a little old. Get a little on in years, understand? I'll eat my dried fruit before I eat the bio pills. Bio pills are a bit more useful. And now it's starting to rain, I'm gonna get some, uh, thermal whatnots. Electronic parts? Is it electronic parts too? Did I not pick those up? Oh, I manufactured fucking more composite parts. I am such a moron. Uh, somebody please help me. <laughs> I just clicked the button, I don't know. I just clicked the button and I expected it to do the thing, but sometimes it doesn't do it. And I get shocked. I'm like, whoa, why wouldn't it do the thing? Well. Make it proper. Make it properly. So, uh, let's connect some electricity here. Gotta go from here. Remember these things, Dayton. It's very important. There we go. And now, uh, switch it on. There we go. I guess that's good. Rename, navigation on. That's correct, right? Change icon. I don't know what that means. Is it, is it showing up on my map? It doesn't look like it's showing up on my map. Hmm. Turn on. Okay, still not showing up. Fascinating. I'm so scared to leave the base. Hmm. Oh, I guess this is a little overloaded. I'll need to make a new, uh, a new generator. 
if this fucking beacon will even work. But yeah, I'll have to expand just a little bit, I do suppose. What an ass pain. It's fine. Biogenerator. Creating electricity. I think this is what I had now. It looks kind of samey, right? <laughs> hmm. I suppose that's it. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. If not, then fuck it. We'll figure it out. More electronic parts? Of course. I always forget the electronic parts. Not my computer, though. Computer, BFF. <laughs> Best electronic part. Hmm, I might need to synthesize some water as well. I gotta do a lot of preparations before I get on the road, you see? That's just how it goes sometimes. So, do I have some biomass? I do. So this is lasting for seven hours. That's about the same over there. Cool. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Connect this. And... Very nice. There's my bacon. That's working well. Um, so yeah, you gotta watch the power capacity. This beacon takes up a hundred, which is uh, pretty significant. We got seven hours to go somewhere, and then uh, we should be able to find our way back, I do hope. Oh, but I gotta fucking turn on my my vehicle. Here we go. Nope, that's not how we go. Okay. Like this one. Wonderful. Ah. Victory! So, my question is whether you go north or south to find silver. I'm really not too sure. That's a mystery. The beacon seems, uh, pretty noticeable. I guess we won't really know until we... we head out just a little bit. We're getting on the road! Gotta find some of that silver so I can craft more high-level components. I got a few batteries, a few bottles of water, some nutrition capsules, and uh, as long as I head mostly, mostly north, I should be able to find my way back south. At least that is my presumption. Having a little, a little lag on the loading there. Oh god, don't fall in the water. What the fuck just happened? It was super dark and then it got super bright. Hmm. What happens if I take this thing in the water? Am I going to need to tow it back out? Mm -hmm. Curious. I don't I don't really want to go that way because obviously it's not uh, all connected. But this is another good point of interest. Once I get back to the the lake, we'll know something something's doing. Hmm. How do I get past the lake? I'm so scared to just drive my vehicle into the water. Mm, it looks a little deep over there. I guess it's just the shadows of the trees. Okay. Stop being paranoid, Dayton. Everything's going to be fine. We're doing great. And I can't really see my beacon. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's uh, a good distance away. But it's pretty visible. So we'll keep it moving. We keep it moving. Hopefully don't die nowheres. I got one sleeping bag. I can always manufacture some more, I suppose. Let's hop out real quick. We'll get this right here. A little more fruitage. Not that I need it particularly, but I'll take it. That's for sure. And north. We want to head mostly north. Can I kill these things with my car? Hey! Yeah, I can. That's awesome. Ran it right over. Come with me, little buddy. <laughs> Road kill for dinner! I tell you what! Alright, I'm gonna get out of my car and just loot that really quick. Good. Remember to put the parking brake on. Oh, this is how you loot. No harvesting. 
little bit of raw meat. One piece of raw meat. I guess I'll take it. Should I just uh, kill the entire family here? How fast do I have to be going to, to get them? Hey, what are you doing? Dead. <laughs> oh, they're mad at me now. It's alright. You want to fight me? That's right. That's how we do. <laughs> oh, that's more fun than it should be. Hey, hey, hey. I'm kind of scared to get out while this, this guy's still up and running around. What are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> come here, come here. There you go. Very nice. Plenty of meat for Dayton. Mm. Six raw meat. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be eating good tonight. That was the patriarch, I think. With the six meat. This one has four. This one also has four. And then the baby had one. So if you don't want to kill all of them, you can just go after the, uh, the biggest one. It'll work just fine. There's some more fruitage. Mmm. Very nice. Oh, I want the, the crystals. I gotta get the crystals. But first, I have to auto-save. Auto-save! Saving my life! Doing the thing, etc. And there's also some uh, locations marked out on the map. One of them is the drop pod that I came in on. But then there's also, like, uh, this one way over here. So maybe we should head that way. And see what it holds. Unlock some more story things. Lots of meat. Lots of meat and carbon. That's basically got everything you need. That is a, a meal in itself. Okay. So now I suppose I'll go this way just a little bit. Is my beacon still visible? Hmm. I should build another beacon. But building another beacon also requires another generator and another uh, pile of biomass to keep it going. So, I don't know. Whoa. Singing crystals. Bro. Um, kind of nervous going down this hill. Not hitting the gas, it's just kind of rolling. Are we saving energy? It's going to be a bitch to get back up this hill for sure. <clears throat> That's okay. Everything's okay here. Hmm. Yeah, let's hit that beacon. Whatever it might be. I want to see... Unveil your mystery! There's another signal detected. Distress signal. Oh man. I'm totally gonna lose the base. That's okay. I've got resources with me. I can rebuild things. Hmm. Okay. I'm not trying to fuck with uh, giant gorilla people at the moment. Let's go over here and try and get up. Up, up, up. Don't get stuck. Please, please, please. Oh, come on, car. I'm quite impressed by this this little buggy. It's able to get up quite a few places. But uh, if I built the giant convoy that I wanted to build, I don't think it would be able to do the same. Oh, man. This is not good. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck and a half. Why would I do this? Oh, oh, uh oh. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> well, can I, can I at least turn the battery off since we're not going to be using that? <laughs> we're not going to be using that for just a, mu a minute. I gotta get a, a winch or something, another vehicle built, so I can pull this shit out. Oh man. Where's the, the other power whatnots? Can I crawl under here? Nope. That's not working either. Hmm. If I dug out one side, 
Maybe it could work. Multi-tool battery depleted. It's alright. I got one more at end. Hmm. I'm gonna have to really dig this out, though. Dang. I don't know how this is going to work, or if it's going to work at all. The vehicle seems to be moving just a little bit, so that's good. I'm going to have to smooth this away, and I don't even know if what I'm planning is going to gonna pan out. Okay, so... It's too bad I can't place dirt, or I just place some dirt under the front and get it up that way. <gasps> yes, 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 yes! Okay. A little more? I can do a little more. Excellent. This tire's stuck. There you go. Nice. Fuck. I was really worried for a minute there. And for good reason, I do suppose. I wager. Okay, this side is the one that's off. So let's pop that back on. And continue. God damn it, no! Fuck! <laughs> oh, shit. And falling into the ground again. I'm glad that doesn't just kill me. They're just like, here's some water. Here's a little bit of water. Oh, shit. Shit sandwich. This is this is terrible. How could this happen to me? I made a mistake. There's nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. I'm sick of this life. I just want to scream. How could this happen to me? Thank you, simple plan. Thank you. Alright. Power it off for now. Ah, shit. Shit stick. Well, what I did before worked, so maybe it'll work a second time. I just gotta make sure this slope is, uh, a little, a little flatter. And if it eats up all my fucking batteries, then whatever. I don't really want to build a new, a new truck, a new buggy. Oh man, this is some shit, isn't it? Flatten it, flatten it, flatten it. Come on, car. You can do it. It's so cold out here. The weather outside is frightful. But my car is so delightful. I want to find my way back home. Why did I this way go? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Smooth it. Smooth it all. And my battery's depleted again. I got a lot of work to do here. More work than I want to do. Um, is that, is that good? Suit battery depleted, that's okay. We'll deal with it. Hmm. So it's gonna land like this way. Guess I should smooth this part out. That's what's gonna give me trouble. This is the point of contention, I believe. This ridge. This little ridge is going to give me some problems. And a little bit more. Couldn't hurt. Whatever. Okay. Extreme temperature warning. Extreme temperature warning. Extreme close up. Whoa. Okay. Dig it, dig it, dig it. 
This is going okay. My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Ah, yeah, I've been doing a lot of work, huh? Get a little drink. You deserve that. Okay. Now let's not fuck this up again. Smooth. Nice and smooth. What an episode. <laughs> but uh, I guess this is part of Planet Nomads, you know. Get your vehicle unstuck from time to time. It happens. I guess a winch would be easier. A second vehicle might be nice backup. But I ain't got a second vehicle at the moment. And I'm not going to be able to get over this ridge, I don't think. So let's flatten this a little. Alrighty. That's looking pretty good. Hmm, maybe I could go back out the way I came. I gotta flatten a little more first. I want it to work so bad. Please! I will not leave my vehicle here. There are beasts outside, which I do fear. Okay. A little bit of that. Okay, vehicle. Let's go this way. Please don't flip over. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Let's all take a, a big sigh of relief. And I still want to see that beacon. I'm still curious. I really don't want to have to dig myself out of a ditch again. Hmm, what sort of place is this? Is that water deep? Seems kind of deep. Is it water? I guess it is water. Water sustains life! A planet without water is a planet without life! I'm gonna harvest this real quick. Get some more herbs. For freezies! Little herbs, little seeds. We've been uh, doing some botany, I tell you what. This is a pretty lush place over here. I would like to build multiple bases, but it seems kind of hard to uh, upkeep all of them. How can you keep all the generators going? That's crazy. That ain't gonna happen. Oh god. Oh fuck. Is it too deep? Do I need bigger tires? Maybe if I just stick near this little landmass, I'll be okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Is this a, a submersible vehicle, is my question. I really don't want to have to to find out. But I kind of... I kind of do. Unless I want to go the super long way around. Doesn't seem to be uh, an easy answer here. Alright. Let's do it. There, that's not as deep as the other part I was looking at. Just stick to the land masses. If you guys know if my vehicle can get stuck or not, please do let me know. I'm quite curious about that. Hmm. Thought I could harvest this plant, but it doesn't offer anything harvestable. Look at this fucking tree. Wow. This must have been here for millennia. Let's cut it down! Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh, I need more multi tool battery. That's right. Let's do that now. <clears throat> Holy shit! It's coming down! Timber! Oh <laughs> shit. What have I done? It doesn't even offer that much biomass. I thought I'd be getting like at least a 90 stack per uh per gathering. These things are not worth cutting down. I should have left it up. Oh well. Live and learn, I do suppose. Oh, watch out. Watch out now. Okay. Pretty cool. 
Hey car, we killed a giant tree. It was pretty nice. This is a colonialism simulator. Go to a foreign planet and destroy its natural wildlife. Run over the wildlife with a car you built and then cut down all the trees. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> colonialism simulator. We will civilize this planet. Look at this. It's like the start of a base, kind of. Interesting. I could at least get some sleep here, I think. Let's uh, eat a little bit of... It's a bit of fruities. Um, I was thinking about eating the bio paste instead, but... That's okay. We'll be fine. Either way. Stairs, reinforced wall. You got a door? It is. It's a door. Wow. This is so nice. Bio generator. I could connect this, right? Power on. Power on? Hmm. And an extra printer just for me. I rather like how this is already built. <laughs> Classy digs y'all got. Who was here before me? Is this the, the scientist that we discovered in the first episode? And he tried to live out here. But unfortunately it didn't turn out so well. Come on, autosave. There you go. They got a greenhouse on the roof. Hmm. Can I connect the electricity through the, the ceiling? Is that a possibility? Connect. Let's just fly to the roof. That's what I do now. Yeah, it works. Excellent. Well, I, I should, uh... Make a little bacon here. Make a little bacon! Where's my, where's my... Bio generator? I want this one. Conveyor. I haven't figured out conveyors quite yet. I'm sure I will at some point. Probably. Maybe. With some luck. Mm, can this fit somewheres? I saw it. It turned yellow. There you go. Oh, we're missing electronic parts. That's okay. I can synthesize some. I've got goodies. i got plenty of goodies. What do we need for that? Carbon and silicon. Here you go. Pop those in. Actually, I'm going to save this. i got two carbon sitting around. There. Nicely done! Nicely done, I say! Ha ha ha! What a victory! And quite a victory it was! Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have a little nappy nap here. I finished building this generator. I thought I could save a step and uh, get it connected as well. But that's okay. I don't, I don't hate this game. As a matter of fact, this game is the fucking tits. More varied stuff to build and grab. Less weapons. It's not as combat focused, unfortunately. But, uh, it'll definitely do. Really, really nice. So, let's whip out that sleeping bag. And, uh, I'll get some rest. Close my door. Yeah, look at this shit! Oh, wreck container. Oh, it's got goodies! What? Let's read this entry first. I got one more entry to read. Tell me something. Uh, use to play the message. Oh. Duh. Let's do that. 
Nightfall! I can hear something snuffing around, something big. It's moving with a purpose, slowly, cautiously. My skin is crawling under the suit. I wish I could take it all off, take a shower. Have a cigar, go to bed, like a decent human being. I pe keep picturing hanging out with Saray and Delgado, so careless. Yeah, anything can happen in space. But it seemed like a fantasy to us. We were traveling faster than light to colonize uncharted worlds. How badass do you have to be to do that? Or stupid. How many people shared the same dream and thought nothing had happened to them personally? How many people died on that ship? Burning to death, suffocating, crushed to pieces, or sucked into outer space, lungs imploding? No training can teach you what to do when your friends are lying all around on the ground begging for help. No training can teach you to look them in the eyes and tell them that you can't help because you have to save yourself. All their families will think they just went off the relay grid or something. And then Congenia HQ will issue a nice clean statement. Thank you for your service. Jesus Christ. Maybe that's not the right way to look at things. Everybody knew the risks. After all, this could be an opportunity. A new dawn for us. But it wasn't. So friends, little uh, bit of a long episode, but we had some snags. That's okay. We figured it out. We, we got some stuff done. And uh, this is a really cool little tertiary base. I'd like to go back and build something like this uh, at my base. And we'll see if we can do that in the next episode or so. Thank you so much for watching, friends. This has been Planet Nomads. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will join us for the next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. Helps the channel to get out there. More people might join us on the Planet Nomads adventure, and that would be pretty cool. So, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.